Hi everyone, uh, this is Meredith in the Quality Control Department. I'm here uh, with you guys to do a notary client account training. Um, I'm gonna go through a couple things with you. Um, first off our agenda, we're gonna do a quick review of our LC departments because I know it can be kind of confusing. I just wanna make sure you guys know uh, where you're supposed to go for help. Um, I'm gonna go through some general feedback that I've gotten from lenders from the past year. Um, I'm also going to do some uh, lender specific updates from our major client accounts. Um, we do have a new client, a couple new clients, and then um, we have a, a couple new updates from loan closers. Um, so first I'm gonna go off and review our departments with loan closers so, so you guys know where to go. Um, orders, uh, basically lenders mostly converse with orders regarding submitting um, signing requests and reschedule requests. You'll, as a notary, you'll really only get with them if you have a reschedule request. Um, loan documents, um, they obviously control what goes up and down of our site regarding loan documents. Um, we encourage our lenders to uh, upload their own documents to the website uh, just to alleviate any sort of third party mishaps. Um, but our loan docs are there for them if they need it. Um, status, uh, you guys are mostly gonna be conversing with me and quality control or status with Austin. Um, he's gonna be there if you have any issues with your signings. If the borrower is not available, they're not there, uh, there's, uh, you can't reach them, things like that. that um, Austin and status is gonna help you uh, make sure your signing uh, is, goes smoothly. Um, you'll want to contact me and quality control or Angie if you have any problems uh, at the table with documents, the docs are wrong, borrower has problems. Please make sure you always call me if you have any issues at the table. And if it's after hours, in the bottom right corner is the um, after hours cell phone and our office manager, Stevon, has that at all times. Um, we do have a signing desk email. Um, it's monitored mostly in the morning, afternoon, Monday through Friday. Um, and if you're looking for signings or something like that, feel free to email signing desk as well. Okay, so general feedback from our lenders, especially with this past year with COVID, you know, I do make sure that I tell them about the experiences you guys are having with COVID signings and it's harder, it's not as easy, you know, everyone's scared. I we totally get that. And I definitely make that clear with them, like how it is different now. Um, but some things that, I'm seeing that are getting the ball dropped on um, is, you know, really check your documents. Like you guys should be reviewing at the table if at all possible, just that extra five minutes. I know you guys go back to back, but just that extra five minutes of at least checking the major, like right to cancel is deed of trust, um, those sorts of documents, the loan app, things like that, where uh, it's gonna prevent the funding of a borrower's loan if it's not executed correctly. Make sure those are correct before you drop, okay? Review at the table, review your acknowledgements, especially the deed of trust. If you review one document in the whole package before you drop, review the deed of trust and make sure it is executed correctly. Um, so also, you know, I know that we get really busy. There's a lot of work out there. It's hard to say no to money, I get it. Uh, but we gotta stay organized. I know that loan closers, we do call you um, for signings. If we call you, just jot it down on your planner, um, put it down on your phone. I know a lot of times we call you while you guys are driving, like just, I don't <laughs> encourage safe driving, but you know, just reach over and just write it down real quick. Um, also calling the borrower to confirm as quickly as possible. Um, I know a lot of you guys like to wait 24 hours before the appointment to confirm because they'll forget. I understand that, but a quick text message right away to the borrower alleviates any sort of issues with them concerned about having a notary or not. We wanna make sure we're communicating with the borrower at all times. Um, if you cannot make an appointment for any reason, please make sure you call our office and let us know. Um, make sure you try to get a hold of our status department or any one of the managers, me, Angie, Stavon. Um, just try to make sure that you, you speak with someone and communicate with someone that you can't make an appointment, that way we can handle it. Um, also, I wanna talk about FedEx. Uh, FedEx is not as reliable as it used to be. Um, COVID, uh, it's so, you know, everyone's shipping everything now. Uh, they had to hire more people. Maybe they didn't have time to train them. You know, we're all like going through the hoops on how to deal with this new economy that we have. And uh, FedEx is no exception. Um, I really cannot stress to you enough. It's very important 
to drop at a FedEx location. I really would like if at all possible, if you can, please do not drop at a third party shipping place or at a Dropbox. The third party shipping place in the Dropbox is not a guaranteed pickup every day. The, some days they can't get to it. Uh, sometimes I've had you know documents sitting in a Dropbox for three days. I've had the uh, FedEx not come to the third party shipping place for two days. Like they pay for the priority overnight label because it is so important for those documents to get back as soon as possible. Um, and then always please make sure you're using a poly pack bag. If you, I get it, some of you guys are in rural areas and that you have to do the Dropbox or you have to do the third party, that's totally fine. Just make sure you're like keeping tr track of it. Like, okay, if I'm doing that, like maybe if I, uh, I should like check the tracking number to see if it's moving, you know? A lot of notaries, they write down their tracking numbers as well. Um, also, I know you guys get, always get um, access to poly pack bags. That's fine. Um, if you use the cardboard, make sure you do extra tape. Like it's, it, it is, ulti I mean, it's not your responsibility that FedEx tosses stuff around in transit and it breaks open and there's nothing we can do. But at the same time, like it is your responsibility to make sure that the documents that you sign your work gets from point A to point B uh, completely. Okay. Cause we don't have to, we don't want to have to redo anything. Okay, so this is a whole list of our active clients. Um, uh, we have some reverse, we're getting more reverse application clients. So they're not as, they're not as bad as you think they are. Um, but uh, they're, you know, no notarizations, it's pretty easy. I, I asked direct our major clients that we're gonna be going through. And then I also show here the vantage point divisions that we have as well. Okay, new American funding and power escrow. So when you go, when you accept an order, sometimes you'll see New American Funding as the client, and sometimes you'll see Empower Escrow. Um, Empower Escrow is a branch of New American Funding. Um, they, New American Funding, that is their escrow company. Um, sometimes New American Funding also does work with Vantage Point Title as well. So you'll see one of those two escrow packages with their uh, loan packages. Um, they typically upload about three attachments, their loan, their escrow, and they'll have their final CD as a separate attachment normally. There will be multiple CDs in their package, get all of them signed. They need to sign their preliminary CDs and then have their final CD. Their final CD is going to be what's matching the closing statement in the escrow package. Um, also, make sure you're checking the date of the documents before you even print. That's so important, just minor stuff that you, you wouldn't think would be incorrect, but it happens just because everyone's so busy. Um, just make sure those dates are correct. Um, you cannot sign loan documents dated in the future. So if it's January 9 and you have documents dated January 10, you cannot sign those no matter what. Please give us a call right away. Um, also, there's wet versus dry states. Uh, those terms mean wet, meaning your documents are date sensitive. You have to sign on the day that the docs are dated or dry, meaning your documents are not date sensitive and um, you can sign for a date in the uh, past. Um, so uh, they're usually about 130 pages to 150 pages. Uh, you have to do a borrow copy, obviously. Um, a tip for you guys with, I guess, common errors that I see from the lender side is make sure that their borrower's names are spelled correctly. Make sure you do that on your confirmation call. Ask them like, okay, can you let me know how your name reads on your identification? Make sure it's spelled correctly. That could uh, alleviate a lot of headache for everybody. Okay. Interactive Mortgage, um, they do not have an escrow company anymore. Um, they have their own disbursement department um, but they still have a couple escrow documents, but it'll be under obviously interactive mortgages name. Um, so all the checks, if you have a borrower that owes money and writes a check, it's going to be made out to interactive mortgage, um, but please encourage them to wire. It's just safer that way all around. Um, they also removed um, the initials at the bottom of their notes and deed of trust, but please look out for that when you are signing other companies, they do have that. Um, so look out for that, but they removed that because that was causing a lot of errors on their documents as well. Also, um, when you do get to those disbursement documents, 
those need to be filled out completely by the borrowers. If they don't know any information, that's totally fine. Just make a note of it on the LC website in the note section, or you can email me at the QC department. Um, so that way I can tell the lenders so they can handle it from there. Okay. Owning. So owning hasn't changed too much, except they do have hybrid closings now. So with a hybrid closing, the borrower sign over half of the documents online, and then you get about a 70 to 80 page package to sign with the borrower. So now they can access their signed documents online. So you don't need to print them a borrower copy. So it makes their packages a lot faster and easier to do, um, but it doesn't apply to every loan. So if you have a loan that's in a trust, it's not gonna be a hybrid, it's gonna be a full package and it's gonna be like normal, you have to print them a borrower copy. Uh, but you'll you'll pretty much know when you when you get it you'll see like okay loan package is like pretty small then you, you'll know that it's a, a hybrid um they like to upload multiple attachments i know it's super irritating i hear it you guys are like oh just make it all one attachment i totally get it uh but unfortunately they pay us so we have to do what they need us to do so we'll just have to deal with the attachments but just make sure you're cross-referencing what you're downloading off of the website and then what with what you have printed, okay? Um, the same thing with their escrow docs, they work with Orange Coast title, um, but their escrow documents are gonna be the same. You're gonna have to make sure that they're printed out. Statement of identity always needs to get signed by the borrower. Even if they get um, irritated with you, they say they already have the info, you have to have them fill it out or else the loan's not gonna fund. Okay. True now, used to be sign on the line. Um, this is really only gonna go for my California notaries because um, we really only get their California loans, but um, they work directly with Vantage Point Title. Um, their escrow documents are sometimes waived. So don't freak out if you get a sign on the line or true now file and um, you don't have escrow docs. Um, just leave a note in the order that there are no escrow documents. That way we can follow up with them, see what the next step the, how they want to take it, if it's waived, or if they want to do an, a separate partial signing with them. Um, these guys do have initials at the bottom of their note and deed of trust. So um, make sure that, so when, when, they, when you see initials at the bottom of notes and deed of trust, that means the person signing that document is to initial that document. Because some, you know how deed of trust will have the title only spouse, but the note won't. So don't have the title only spouse sign a note when they're not signing the note. So just make sure you're looking out for those. Um, it's also, they're pretty easy to just loan an escrow, 120 to 150 pages, print a borrower copy. Um, and then again, just let us know if there's no escrow docs in there, okay? Cause we'll probably have to get you a shipping label as well. Okay, true concept title. They're um, a new client with ours. We've had them for a couple months now. Um, they're great to work with. Um, to Riley Tran is going to be your contact with them and it's in the instruction sheet that you get in your order confirmation her phone number she wants you to call her if you have any questions don't call her for status questions don't call her just call her if you have issues with loan documents at the table with the borrowers do not don't blow Riley up about anything other than that um, you guys uh, you can please I need you guys to confirm those orders right away with the borrowers that's something that their lenders are really looking for. Um, also their the lend their lender is picky about printing so make sure when you print it's print printed correctly. Um, there's no um, low ink like dotted there's no ink smearing because they'll send it back and you'll have to redo it. Um, and then again, just the acknowledgements is just something I'm missing across the board. Like we got to check our acknowledgements and make sure they're correct. Okay, Vantage Point Title. Um, so we have a couple of their divisions. We have e-mortgage, white glove, post-closing, which are their partial signings, um, commercial division, and the purchase team. So all of those are going to be scans, except white glove is conditional. So sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. Um, they do have fairly large packages, so please make sure you're cross-referencing the page count on the PDF. Make sure you have all the pages, um, especially white glove team. They can get really large, um, over 200 sometimes. So I know those are huge packages. Please make sure that you use poly packs for them or like, and just extra tape as well because those have opened in FedEx multiple times. 
And um, I wanted to go over some uh, couple documents in Vantage Point escrow docs that I get questions on a lot. Um, so the Fidelity um, Indemnity Undertaking Agreement. So the signature page looks like this. You'll see seller, buyer, witness, witness. So if you don't have a witness state, you can disregard the witness lines, okay? Seller, buyer, that term gets used interchangeably in refinances with borrower, co-borrower. Um, if the borrower doesn't feel comfortable signing with these terms, it's totally fine. You can line out initial and correct it. Escrow documents are um, easier to correct if there are any errors. And with Vantage Point, sometimes you will see a lot of errors on their docs. So it is okay to correct those documents, it's fine. Um, so just make sure they just sign and print their name underneath. Um, the ID letter. Um, so up top here, people ask me, what, what, who do I put the borrower's name or my name? So notary's name goes at the very top and you'll, if you read the verbiage, I guess you'll understand, you would put your name at the top. The borrower's name is here. And then you will um, be filling out their information here. If there's a co-borrower, just write the name in and then write the info. You just sign it. And then the borrower initials at the bottom. Don't stamp it, <laughs> that was an error. Um, oh, hold on, go back, let's see. And then one of the same name affidavit, the way that their uh, documents uh, are, are generated, it automatically generates a blank one of the same name affidavit. So you don't need to fill this out if you only have a borrower or if you only have a borrower title uh, signer. Um, so you can disregard this if it's blank and there's just a borrower or borrower title but if there's a borrower co-borrower and there's not one filled out for the co-borrower, you would then need them to fill this out. Again, write their name in, sign it, notarize. Okay, so Mutual of Omaha is our, our new reverse app client with us. We like them a lot. They're really great to work with and um, their borrowers are great. Their loan officers are really good with their borrowers. I've had no complaints from notaries about borrowers not having the stiffs that they need or not knowing what's going on. Um, they are scans only, and I know that you guys know that they're larger, about 300 pages, uh, but you don't need to print two copies, you only need to print one, and they're sectioned off in the package, what you sign and what you leave with the borrower. Um, so it's basically the same as printing uh, two copies of a 150 refi. Um, and there's no notarizations. You just have to make sure that they sign and date where they need to. And also very important that you collect the stipulation list of whatever documents they may need and um, make sure those copies are very clear. Um, the LO will have their own instructions per file of what specifically you need. And it'll have their contact information in there as well. Um, please make sure you make clear copies of their IDs and their socials. Um, also, they really are very strongly need you to return documents in stacking order. Do not take the documents out of order. Please return them in the way that you got them. Please make sure the scans are legible because they do file the loan application with your scans. So they need to look professional. They need to look nice and they need to not be flipped upside down, flipped sideways, cut off, make sure the scans look good. Um, and then you, that's it. That's all you need to do. Um, so it's, they're pretty easy. Um, so we're moving on here to Western Resources Title, um, another new uh, client that we have last uh, couple months, um, their refis. Um, they're only for my California notaries. So if you're not a California notary, you don't need this information, um, but their accounts are with LendPlus. Um, LendPlus is very picky about printing. Please make sure that you are not low on ink when you print these documents. Please make sure the ink does not smudge. They will kick back anything where it looks wonky at all. Um, also with signatures, I've had them kick back signatures where I even thought that the signature was consistent with the rest of the package, but they didn't think so. So please make sure that you tell your borrowers to sign very consistently throughout the packages with them. Um, and then um, if you need also with scans, if you have scans with them, they don't like cam scanners, um, make sure the scans are legible. If you get a correction from them from me and you send me a copy back, like they have to be very clear, legible scans. Um, and then um, since they're California loans, their documents are not date sensitive. If you don't know how to correct the right to cancel form, uh, please email me quality control so I can give you instructions on how to uh, correct rights to cancel forms. 
All right, and then our new client, uh, we picked up Fidelity again. So our client is Tight Core Title, and Mr. Dane McLean over there is our friend. He's now at Tight Core Title. He used to be at WFG. Um, so these ones we we're still um, we're still in the process of getting us set up with them. So um, I'm going to give you all the information that I have, and once I get more information, I'll give it to you guys as soon as possible in an email blast. Um, but we need to be, uh, you guys need to be approved with Fidelity. Um, so if you actually go onto your LC profile, you'll see a Fidelity approved check bark box. If you are already approved with them, please make sure that's updated. Um, if you are, so we can get you on with them. Um, and I know that, uh, you guys are going to want to ask, how do I get approved? Well, once we get that information from them, um, we'll definitely send that your way if you're interested in that. Uh, but as of right now, um, we're just trying to get our list of notaries that we already have that are approved with them um, to get us set up uh, for that. And then um, finally, um, we have our new text message notifications. Um, so this is a big update for us. I'm excited about it. I think you guys are going to really benefit from this because we're going to get like, you're not going to have to wait for us to get an email and then call you guys and let you know it's going to be instant updates. So um, please make sure you save this phone number 949-516-0805. Make sure you save it because those are going to be where the notifications are going to come from. You cannot reply to the text messages. They are for notifications only. If you need to contact us, please contact our office, email, call, or text the after hour cell phone number. Um, so basically with these notifications you're gonna get notified for is you're gonna get notified when you got documents uploaded for your order. You'll be notified via text if new documents get uploaded. You'll be notified for your appointment reminders. Um, You'll get um, a text when you get an appointment assigned to you. So that'll be good if you if we call you and you answer, but you don't have time to write it down, you'll get that text message right away on your phone. Um, you'll get notified if there's any cancellations or reschedules for signing that you already have. And then we'll also send you reminder updates. Hey, you guys, confirm your appointment, complete your appointment. Did you print documents? Um, those kind of things, those last three, You'll, you won't get those notifications if you update the LC website already. Um, so we really encourage you to update the website as soon as you possibly can. Um, also, if you need to report an update and you're driving, can't go on the website on your phone for whatever reason, just call us, text the after hour cell, save Austin's email status at loan-closers.com, um, save his email so you can send a quick email from your phone and he can update it for you guys. Um, so... I think it's great. It's going to streamline everything. Um, it's going to be, make it easier for you guys and for our clients. Um, and then finally, um, in your profile, when you log into your web LC profile, make sure that your phone number is listed as a cell phone number. So and you're not going to get those updates unless your phone number in your LC profile is selected as cell phone number type. Okay. So make sure those are updated in there. And then, um, Finally, I just want to talk a little bit about um, like work-life equilibrium. I want to make sure that you guys are, you know, working to your fullest capabilities. Um, I know there's a lot of work out there and we're busy and stuff like that. Um, but I just want to make sure our quality of work doesn't diminish and we can do what we, uh, the most we can do and give the best service possible to our clients. Um, I want to encourage you guys to utilize the LC roster you get those in your confirmation emails every time you get an order. Um, the, that has all the department emails, our, our everyone's extension. I update those, those are updated. Um, I also, um, if you log into your LC profile and you go on the left-hand side, you'll see a training button that says training slash FAQ. You'll click on that and it has links. Um, I'm going through and updating those and making sure those work for you guys. Um, but I did update, I gave you a 2021 um, rescission calendar. And then I updated our LC roster there too for you guys. Um, I wanna encourage you guys to read instruction sheets for your confirmations. I know that like sometimes you do owning files all day and you're not gonna read the owning instruction sheet that gets attached, but I do update those regularly. So if there are changes, it'll be in there. So I just encourage you guys to just read those um, to make sure that you're doing everything correctly. 
And then I want you guys to ask questions. I want to be here for you guys. So me and Angie in the quality control department are here for you. If you have any questions, Austin is here for you in status, um, Jessica and docs. Um, so we're all here for you guys for your success and just making sure that we all get it done properly. Um, thank you guys. Uh, we'll do a webinar actually once a month now. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one and then I'll put out a blast for next month's one. You guys can register. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye.